basically what you can do with the ease, ease of use in interaction creation. Now, in addition to that, obviously, now you want to build your lesson. So the, the, the product offers the upgraded version of the basic interaction that is default. So certain things you can do without having to do anything. So annotation, explosion, transparency, slicing, plane, the ability to disassemble and snap. Um, you get all the visual quality that you wish default. So these are things that you can be lazy and you don't have to focus on remembering how to create, it's just default. Obviously, a lot of questions have been how you log in the platform. So on your mobile, it's super simple to log in. Uh, it's just following, a, it takes a few seconds, but you can also use your mobile to help log in uh, in, in your Oculus device. Uh, so that's also now highly simplified. So you get basically a code that you then use for your Oculus and you can go. Some of the uh, examples with respect to annotations, uh, which is one features that we have. Uh, and you notice what's beautiful about uh, Eon XR 9.0 is that the same model or lesson uh, you can experience in mobile mode, in AR mode, in virtual reality mode on your mobile, or in virtual reality mode on your HMD, your headset, for example, Oculus. So um, it, you don't have to create it for each of, this is automatically with a flip of a button. Um, one nice thing with annotation in VR is that they are uh, 3D. So the system knows if it's close to your eyes, the letters are big. If it's further away, the uh, letters are smaller. So um, we take that in account, which uh, is a very neat function for, for 3D. Uh, and it's dynamic. That's the beauty of that. Um, there's also the ability, so every feature that I'm gonna show you propagates, uh, whether it's explode in this case, um, and it propagates throughout the four modalities, as I talked about mobile, augmented reality, virtual reality on a headset, or virtual reality on a mobile device. Uh, transparency, the same thing, I'm not gonna repeat myself, uh, and it goes through every single feature, um, and it's quite handy to, to experience. Okay, um, slicing plane, what's that? That's the ability to explore uh, its interaction tool. Let me just show you that. That enables you to, as the name implies, slice through a product. So uh, you can actually cut it and see various angles. This is very useful for mechanical engineering but, and many other things, biology, electronics, etc. Uh, and you can do that in various orientations. If you can see this dog here, I'm using the slicing to do the same. And you can see how I define the plane and then based on the plane I define, I'll be able to experience the various attributes. Uh, it's also possible to, uh, instead of doing that, uh, the slicing is of course to peel it uh, more like anatomy, like uh, onion all the way to the skeleton and then start interacting with it uh, exploring the various aspects. Um, a very useful feature that many people are using is what we call this assemble and snap. So looking at this phone, uh, this is not far from away from the beach, I can grasp different things. All I need to do is use my phone here, I don't use anything else to grasp it and interact with it. Um, and then what's interesting is that the, uh, the system has a proximity sensor, so it senses when you close it to it and it snaps back again. Uh, shadows, as you've probably seen, are very important, real-time shadows, to uh, get that extra sense of realism. So it's something that I'm very thrilled about, which makes it difficult to see what's real and not. Um, and overall, PBR visual quality, I think we spoke about that. I showed you mainly this in augmented reality, but this also is the same if you look here in mobile or in virtual reality, uh, either for the headset or virtual reality, as you can see here. Um, and it actually gets, if it's in a dark environment, the reflection will reflect that dark environment. It does reflect the real environment uh, based on physics-based rendering. So it's quite, quite astonishing.